TikTok only uses your phone number for email, for logging in, and never to stalk you elsewhere. Apparently, all of their services live inside a zero trust fortress, so every bit of data is locked down locally and only unlocked by exactly one service that needs it. But there's a scaling problem with that. TikTok has 1 billion users. If they gave each phone a unique key that server stored, every extra cross check would slow everything down. Their solution was envelope encryption, where they give each device device a one-time data key and wrap that key in a master lock and bundle both with your video or chat. Servers only keep the master lock so they never store a billion little keys. You can still unwrap any box instantly. By sending the wrap deck, there's also no fancy handshakes needed. Here's where it gets interesting. Today's internet uses things like elliptic curve cryptography, ECC or RSA. They're fast and well understood but big enough where quantum computers running Shor's algorithm could quickly pick that lock. TikTok implements traditional protection measures, but they also now implement a new module lattice scheme. These new module lattice schemes rely on math problems over high dimensional grids that even quantum computers struggle to solve. They're a little heavier computationally, but they're believed to withstand quantum attacks. So to get in, you gotta break both. And it makes sense. TikTok has been farming most of the world's data for the past five years, and that's pretty valuable. Also, is it just me, or do they know something we don't? Are quantum computers computers right around the corner?